Hello, I'm Mike Valentine. I'm Vice President of the American College of Cardiology. And if I were to give advice as a mentor for fellows in training in the cath lab, I would quote Ariana Huffington, who just spoke here at the Sky Meeting on the value of sleep. And she said a couple of things that were very important for FITs to remember. Number one, lack of sleep is not a badge of honor. Number two, to perform at your maximum ability all day, every day. You must have an adequate amount of sleep to perform well. We were always taught that the less you sleep and the harder you work, the better you'll be and the tougher you are. Not true. Science shows that you need your sleep and you need your rest. So leave your cell phones out of your bedroom, get an adequate amount of sleep, stop tweeting and turn off your brain to go to sleep and perform better as interventional and general cardiologists in everything you do. Thank you. Hello, my name is Sunil Rao. I'm an interventional cardiologist at Duke University Medical Center, and I'd like to give you three tips uh, as you start your career as an interventional cardiologist. Um, actually, I'll give you three plus one, a bonus one. Uh, the first one is once you get down into practice, it's very easy to become overwhelmed. So make sure you put not only your patients first, but put your family first. Make sure you make time for your family. That's incredibly important. The second tip I'll give you is don't let your spending grow into your new income. That's very, very important. Make wise financial decisions. The third tip I'll give you is prepare for a lifetime of learning. I know that as a fellow, you feel pressure to try and learn every single procedure before you finish your fellowship, but the reality is you should be focusing on developing strong fundamentals because new procedures and new techniques will come along. So you need to be able to adapt to those new techniques once you get out into practice. The bonus tip I'll give you is become an advocate for interventional cardiology. Get involved in the professional societies. Become a part of SKY. Become a part of ACC. Get involved in the committees so that you can have an impact on the profession as it continues to evolve. So I'm Chris White, and my best advice for an interventional fellow starting his program today is to do absolutely as many cases as you possibly can, be in the cath lab as long as you can, come to work first, leave, to work, leave work last. There's nothing that will replace uh, the volume and the sense of accomplishment you get from being comfortable with your hands. In your off hours, you will publish as many papers as you can. It doesn't matter whether these are Nobel Prize winning or not, but put the papers in publication. Whether or not you ever plan to have an academic career or not, those papers will be your insurance in case you choose to have an academic career. Work with your mentors locally. Work hard during the day. Work hard during the night. You can sleep when the fellowship's over. Hi, my name is Pervez Mirage from Northwell Health, North Shore University Hospital in Long Island, New York. And uh, the question is really one thing that I wish I would have learned during fellowship that I would know now that would change my practice. I think it's hard to answer one thing, but I'll say this in 60 seconds or less, is that I definitely feel like time management and knowing what I wanted to do would be the combination. So understanding how to manage your time, how to devote your time both clinically, academically, research-wise, and also save time for yourself. Uh, I think it's not imagine it's not a, not important to say just your quality of life, but it's definitely a combination of all those that really are important. We're all going to try to want to be busy in clinical life in the beginning because we all want to get our hands dirty, especially as interventionists. We always want to be in the cath lab, but the truth is you can't live in the cath lab because you need to be able to do other things. You need to have a family. You need to be able to devote your time academically, and you need to be able to find that time for yourself. Very important. Thanks.